GST in India, Goods and Service Tax, that is a tax reform in India after independence. So, what is GST? Goods and Service in Tax, as it is depicted from GST. Goods and Service Tax is a comprehensive tax levy on manufacture, sale, and consumption of goods and service at a national level. It includes many state and central level indirect taxes. It overcomes drawbacks in old tax system or VAT system. When we talk about GST, it's a tax on goods and services with value addition at each stage having comprehensive and continuous chain of set of benefits from the producers or service producers point up to the retailers level where only the final consumer should bear the tax. So why is there need for GST? Replacing the existing multiple tax structure of center, so non-uniformity in nature of old tax system that is in that and different for different state, different rates of taxation were there in case of that and now we need some transparent tax system and which also helps in reduction of tax evasion and therefore giving impetus to competition in exports. So what used to happen was separate taxation of goods and services often required splitting of transaction values into value of goods and services for taxation, which ultimately led to greater complexities, administration and other costs. Integration of various taxes into a GST system would make it possible to give full credit for inputs taxes collected. The GST also helps in removing economic distortions and also in development of a common national market. Now model of GST. GST structure as depicted in this picture as center GST, state GST and dual GST. So we'll follow three approaches. GST to be levied by center would be center GST, by state would be state GST. ST and dual some things that comes in both state as well as center. So the dual GST model proposed uh, by the committee and accepted by the center will have dual system for improving the tax system in India. So central excise duty, additional excise duty, state VAT, entertainment taxes, taxes on lotteries, betting and gambling, entry tax would be subsumed with GST. Now GST, some products are excluded like petroleum products, alcohol, tobacco products, purchase tax. These are some products which are excluded in GST, vehicles, luxury tax and electricity tax and basic custom duty and safeguard duties on import of goods into India. Stamp duties on immovable properties. So these are some products which are excluded in GST. So to get a clear idea about GST, let's assume we have a base price of a product A is 100, 100 in both the systems, back the earlier system, GST, the current system. So what used to happen was that 12% excise duty was levied on VAT system and 12.5 by VAT in VAT system. So uh, there were no state GST, not available, not available. But total tax burden addition of this comes out to be 26. So the value on the customer or the consumer side was 126 for the product which initially cost about 100 rupees. But in case of GST system, there are there is elimination of these taxes and uh, state would levy 8% GST and center 12%. So burden comes out to be 20. So there is a net profit of 6 rupees. GST not a new thing. Obviously it is not a new thing. It is a new thing for India. About 140 plus countries already have GST. More than 140 countries. France GST was the first country to introduce in 1954. And third, Canada and Brazil. Typically, it is a 
single rate system but two three rate systems are also prevalent canada and brazil alone have dual gas gst hovers between 15 to 20 percent standard gst rate in most countries range between 15 to 20 percent so the conclusion that we come is gdp growth would increase gst will simplify tax structure broaden the tax base and create a common market across states. This will give impetus to GDP growth. High exports. It will be beneficial for India as it leads to reduction production cost and increased export competitiveness. So benefits plus plus plus. Implementation of GST may lead to a fall in cost in many cases making several products competitive leading to benefits for the manufacturers and also making some of them competitive on the world stage. Over a period of time, the consumer will reap the benefits of the process to the lower costs. So this is a nutshell about GST in India. Thank you.